I'm Molly and this is my friend Neve, and we're going to show you how to ply embroidery floss, thread your needle, and tie a knot. Okay, so uh, we're going to show you first, first let's pick out what colors we want to do. We have all these nice embroidery floss. I think I want to do this turquoisey color. Okay, and I think I'm going to pick blue. So um, embroidery floss is all, it's usually six strands and we're gonna work with two strands. So the way that we um, pull the embroidery floss out is from the side that has the number on it, which you've got there, Neve. And now let's find the end. You got yours? You can... Great, so now let's pull out about 18 inches. Well, that's good actually, because you're gonna do yours a little differently. So you pull out 36 inches and I'll pull out about 18 inches. That looks perfect. So let's cut our thread. It needs to They're cute, right? They're little unicorns. Okay. Okay, so how many strands did I say there were? Two. We need two. Six. There's six. There's six. Yes. So for yours, Neve is gonna thread her needle doubled. So she needs just one to pluck out just one of these strands. And I'm going to thread mine um, with a single, which means I need two. So, yeah, just pull it. You can talk. <laughs> just pull out one. Wait, do I just pull this thing? Yeah, just pull the one strand out. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get tangled up. That's okay. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Look, it's like magic. You'll use the rest of this later. Okay, and I'm going to pull out two. Look, mine got tangled, but yours was perfect. Okay. So now we've got... I've got two strands. I've got one strand. Great. Let's get our needles. Okay, so um, why don't you go first? So I'm going to thread my needle. I'm having... Yeah, you can bite the end. You lick it so if you need to, and then pull the needle. Okay, but you got it. You take it. And this is, and Molly, she's not going to do it this way, but then I take the other end and I even them up, take my needle, and unwrap. And you can pull it so it's doubled. Oopsies. And so this is double threading the needle. And it's really good if you're a kid or you're a beginner because your needle won't come unthreaded, but it is hard to take out mistakes. So keep that in mind. So um, we'll do the knot in one second. So now I'm gonna do mine. So mine is two strands of 18 inches and I'm just gonna cut my ends. So it's- Is it fitting both through? I'm gonna put them both through, yeah. I'll try. Okay, so I've got them both through and I've got this little tail. So the tail, this one is easy to unpick your mistakes. If you make a mistake, you just unthread the needle, take it out, thread it again. Um, but the needle does come unthreaded a lot, especially if you're working with kids. Okay, so now Neve is going to show you how she ties a knot, um, and this is called a quilter's knot. So you take your thread and you put it against your needle, you hold it in place, then you take this part and you wrap it around the needle maybe two times, and then you take that wrapping and you pull it down to the end of your needle, and then you have a little tiny knot. So that is a really fun and kind of magical way to tie a knot. But sometimes it gets stuck and there's like a big uh, You did it tangle. perfectly there. But then it's actually kind of good because then it's a bigger knot. Yeah, bigger knot, it's better. Okay, so I'll do a different knot. This is, um, I don't know what the name of this knot is, a finger wrap knot, we'll call it. So you just put the needle side down and you take the end and you make an X around your finger and then you take your thumb and you roll it off. And then you pull the rolls down and that's another way to tie a knot. Either way, works the same as long as you have a knot. I've never done that knot. It's cool, right? And now you're ready to sew. Okay. 